as I keep mine eyes upon that distant shore, I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storms don't cease, and if the wind your life and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day still that hope that lies within is reassured as I keep my eyes upon that distant shore I know hope he'll leave be safely through that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storms don't cease, and just in case the wind the Lord Whoa. I realize that sometimes in this life you're gonna be tossed by the waves and the currents that seem so fierce yes listen to this but in the word of God I I've got an anchor and it keeps me steadfast and unmovable despite hard times. But if, if the storms don't cease and just in case the winds they keep on the Lord. Listen, listen. Oh, I realize that sometimes in this life we're gonna be tossed by the waves and the currents that seem so fierce. Yeah, listen to this. But in the word of God, I've got an anchor, and it keeps me steadfast and unmovable, despite hard times. But if, if the storms don't cease, and just in case the winds, they keep on. to take a cruise and 
I'm not one that likes to get anywhere away from ground. You talk about flying, nope, not for me. Talk about taking a cruise, nope, not for me. But I took a cruise, had an opportunity to take a cruise, and took a cruise with my wife, and got out there, and I think it was the first day or two we got out there, they came across a loudspeaker and said, just to let you all know, we're in the middle of a tornado or a hurricane. And I said, Lord have mercy. And you can, we were at the point in the boat where we could see the, the anchor. And they let down the anchor. And you can just feel the boat begin to rock. Now this is a boat that has two, 3,000 rooms in it. It's like a city within itself, but yet you can feel the boat just rocking back and forth. We were right in the middle of it, and you can just feel it rocking back and forth. But they cast out the anchor. And the anchor, by the grace of God, yeah. kept the boat right there, by the grace of God. As the thought was to endure, one's soul must be anchored in Jesus. As we said on last night, and as the pastor has been preaching, endure is the ability to withstand hardship and stress. The ability to withstand, church, hardship and stress. Not just the hardship, but the stress also. Not just the stress, but the hardship. You're going to have some storms that come in your life. You're going to have some waves that seems so fierce. But the songwriter said, in the word of God, I've got an anchor. The definition of anchor is something that prevents drifting. Something that prevents drifting. It also said that is to hold secure. To hold secure. Thank you, brother. To hold fast. Not moving to the right, not moving to the left, not moving forward, not moving backwards. So deacon, if you'd be so kind, congregation, to endure one's soul must be anchored in Jesus. Turn with me to Job, the first chapter. Sometimes you read things, and you've read it before, and the Lord just leads you right back to that place again, and read it all over again, and he may show you different things. He may show you the same things that he showed you once before. Yeah. But as I said, to endure, one's soul must be anchored in Jesus. So you'll have that ability to withstand those hardships, the ability to withstand the stressful times that come your way, those waves that seem so fierce. Job, the first chapter, first verse beginning says what? There was a man in the land of Uz. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and what? And that man was perfect. That man was perfect. And what? And upright. And upright. And what? And one that feared God. And one that feared God. And what? And enchewed now, evil. And excused evil. Yes. Now my Bible says that Job was a perfect man. Yes. How many of you all's Bible says that? Y'all Bible says Job was a perfect man? Job was a perfect man. How many of y'all have ever heard a, a preacher say that can't nobody be perfect? I've heard that. I've heard that. Ain't nobody perfect but Jesus. Y'all heard that too? Yeah. Ain't nobody perfect but Jesus. He was the only perfect man. Yeah. But yet, Job 1 and 1 says that there was a man in the land of us whose name was Job, and that man was what? Perfect. And he was what? Upright. He feared God and did what? In Excused means to shun and to stay away from. 
Amen.